How many seconds are in a day? That's the same thing as saying convert one day into units of seconds. So first, in order to convert between units, you need to know what the relationships are between the units that you're working with. You might know these off the top of your head, or they might be given to you. In our case, we know that 60 seconds equals one minute, 60 minutes equals one hour, and 24 hours equals one day. Next, we're going to write the amount that we start with. We're starting with one day and converting to seconds, so in our case, our starting amount is one day. Next, we're going to multiply by those unit relationships that we know, which are the amounts of each unit that are equal to each other. We have 24 hours per one day, 60 minutes per one hour, and 60 seconds per one minute. And again, these are all multiplied together. Now, we mentioned that we could write these relationships either way. For example, 24 hours per one day, or one day per 24 hours. So how do we know which way to write it? How do we know which one goes on top when we're writing these fractions? Well, here's the thing. We're going to multiply these fractions. So if we have the same unit on the top and the bottom of this list of fractions, and we can cross them both out. So we have day on the top and on the bottom, so we can cross them both out. We can do the same for hours and minutes. The only unit that we haven't crossed out is seconds, and that's the unit we want our answer to be in. So there's the answer to our question. When we write these relationships or equal amounts, we put the right one on the top or bottom so that we can cross units out and end up with only the unit that we want. So now that we've crossed out our units and found that we're only left with the unit we want, seconds, we know we wrote everything down correctly. Next, all we have to do is multiply these fractions to get our answer. We do that by multiplying all of the numbers on top, which gives us our top number, or numerator, and then multiplying all of the numbers on the bottom, which gives us our bottom number, or denominator. On the top, we multiply 1 times 24 times 60 times 60 seconds, and we get 86,400 seconds. And on the bottom, we multiply 1 by 1 by 1, and we get 1. And since any number divided by 1 is just that number itself, we can just ignore the 1 on the bottom since it doesn't have a unit. And there's our answer. 1 day is equal to 86,400 seconds. We could also say that there's 86,400 seconds per day. So this method of converting between units is called dimensional analysis. And even for really simple conversions, I always use this method so that I know everything's organized and I won't mess up and accidentally multiply when I should have divided or something like that. Let's try one more example. Let's convert 25 miles per hour to kilometers per hour. First, we need to know the relationships between the units that we're dealing with. And in this case, we're given that one kilometer equals 0.62 miles. Next, we write our starting amount, which is 25 miles per hour. Notice how miles per hour was written as MPH, but now we have 25 miles per one hour. Whenever we convert between units, we need to write them out completely as fractions. Next, we write out the equal amounts, or the relationship between units. And since we have miles on top already, and we want to cross miles out and only end up with kilometers, we're going to write our unit relationship, our equal amount, with miles on the bottom. Now, we can cross out miles, since it's on the top and the bottom. What we're left with is kilometers on the top and hours on the bottom, which is the unit we want, kilometers per hour. To get our answer, we just multiply the top numbers. 25 times 1 kilometer equals 25 kilometers. And then the bottom, 1 hour times 0.62 equals 0.62 hours. So we end up with 25 miles per hour is equal to 25 kilometers divided by 0.62 hours, which is true. But what we really want is kilometers per one hour. So to do that, we just finish the math. We'll do 25 divided by 0 0.62, and we get 40.3. So we write that on top. So our final answer is 40.3 kilometers per hour. So that's how we convert between units.